Hello everyone. Today in this video, we'll be discussing the um, programs five to nine. How to memorize them? What is the trick? And what are the patterns in uh, the programs five uh, five to nine? Okay. So, namely, what are the programs five to nine? I have considered is five as uh, serpent's key gasket, and six as uh, scan, uh, scan line fill algorithm, and seven as teapot program, eight as coin Switzerland, and nine as Beezer curve. Okay. So, in the same order, you have to remember serpent's key gasket, scan line fill algorithm, teapot program, coin Switzerland, and Beezer curve. Okay, so let's see what are the uh, functions uh, which are totally in it, like including the main function. So here in the serpent's key gasket, we have six functions. Scan line, we have seven functions. Teapot, we have eight functions. And in coin suter line, we have five functions. And bizarre curve, we have eight functions. This is the first thing which which you need to know. Okay, and then you have to memorize all these. Okay, means what are the functions which are getting used? That's the first thing which you have to do after memorizing the number of functions. Okay, so here if you see it uh, carefully, in every of these functions, what I've written, there is a main function and display function. Right, main function, display function, main function, display function. Here also main and display, and here also main and display. Right, so that's the uh, second point which you need to keep in mind. There is a main and display function in all of these. Okay, and after that, uh, in the first and the last. Okay, in the first we have my reshape, and in the last also we have uh, reshape. Okay, means it's not uh, written as the same name, but it's the same thing. Reshape and my reshape, and uh, you don't have init here. Can you find out init here? No. Can you find out init here? No. But can you find out init here? Yes. Init. Can you find out here? Yes. And can you find out init here? Yes. So what's the thing is here you can't find reshape. Here also there is no reshape, and here also there is no reshape. So the thing which you need to keep in mind is the first and the last one only has reshape instead of init. The rest all have init. Okay, those are the three functions which is uh, common in all of these functions. And after that we have the specific functions which are defined for these. Okay. And along with that, uh, two of the functions which has menu is the scan line algorithm has a menu here, fill menu, and the ninth one. These two have menu in it. Okay. So this is the overall picture of the um, five functions, uh, five programs, which is serpent key gasket, the fifth program, scan line fill, the sixth program, teapot, the seventh program, coin switzer line, eighth program, bizarre curve, ninth program. Okay. Now let's see what are the key points. First, you have to remember there are six functions here: seven functions, eight functions, five functions, eight functions, six, seven, eight, five, eight. Like that, you have to remember. All the functions have display, and um, how, and how do you call displays in by using this line of code? We'll be discussing that later. One and five have reshape; others have in it. Okay, and in the main function, let's uh, now discuss about the main function. In the main function, these things are common for all the main functions: glut in it, and arc c and arc b. Glut init display mode, glut init window, glut init uh, with this window size, with this window position. These four things are common for all the main functions. Okay, init, glut init display mode, glut init window size, glut init window position. Just write this uh, functions three four times, you, uh, it will stay in your mind. Okay, and here you have in the display mode, glut single, glut RGB, and glut depth. This uh, depends on the type of the program. If it's a two D program like Scanlan Fill, it is not having G, uh, glut depth. But if it's a three D program like uh, the Teapot, you will have glut depth as well. <coughs> so these are the things and you have the glut create window in uh, the first four you have the glut in it here you just have the glut okay so this is the uh, initialization part in the int main and after that you can have either init or glut reshape function for the functions which you have defined reshape you will be writing glut uh, reshape function my reshape the function which uh, name you have given for reshape that you'll be calling here otherwise you'll be calling init okay and you'll be having this function in all of these glut display function display and if there is a menu in it, you will be creating a menu first, glut create menu, and we will be typing the menu name here, the function which you are defining later, glut add menu entry, glut add menu entry, and the name you will be writing here as well as the numeric value you will be assigning to it, and glut attach menu, glut right button or left button you are attaching it. Okay, so what all we did in menu, create menu, add an entry, add an entry, attach menu to the uh, one of the buttons. Okay. And after that, there are a few more functions in some of the programs like GL enable, GL clear, GL flush, and glut main loop. Glut main loop is uh, common for all. These are some of the functions that uh, you need to add it extra. But uh, I'm just talking about what is more common in it. Okay, like the 90% of the code you'll get to know if you watch this video. Okay, the remaining things that you need to change accordingly, like uh, based on the program. Okay, so these are some of the things what is uh, what you need to know about the int main. And let's move on. Then what we have in program uh, five to nine. What are the things I told you common in the uh, programs? First thing is main is for all, and my reshape or init that is common for all, and display is common for all. 
so in the um, programs 5 to 9 the reshape function is used okay 5 and 9 5 and 9 is the first and the last program uh, reshape function is used so what is in the reshape function is common viewport 0 0 w h so in the reshape function it accepts two parameters which is w and h width and height so we'll uh, write this line of code gl viewport 0 0 w h matrix mode gl projection load identity glue ortho 2d gl clear and gl color buffer bit a slight difference will be there between the fifth and the ninth program in the uh, reshape function but 90% uh, of the code is same okay so if you remember this one you can easily write uh, what is the difference okay so that's not a big issue so reshape function is done coming to the init function which is in the uh, sixth seventh and eighth programs scan line fill teapot and the uh, cohen sutherland algorithm here what we have is the gl clear so we are setting the background we are setting the color of the pen we are setting the size of the pen so we are defining the frame and the uh, pen we are making it ready and then gl matrix mode gl projection gl load identity gl ortho 2d are setting the size of the window as well as uh, the matrix mode and load identity okay this same for three functions okay so that was about the init function and i told you right there, there is a menu defined for the um, scan line and the bizarre curve so here what we have is the void menu and the option will be gi given as the parameter if the option is one then fill flag is equal to one if option is two fill flag is equal to two then display function that's all what is there in the menu the option will come you will compare the option based on that you will be uh, performing the action which is required that is in the menu coming to the display functions as i told you in the three there are display functions and five and seven and others don't have glow, um, gl load identity in 5 and 7 um, gl load identity will be there in the rest of the programs it will not be there okay so in the 5 means serpinski gasket and 7 means teapot program there we will have the gl load identity so in the display function this is the main thing gl clear gl color buffer bit and gl depth buffer bit and this for just 2d this for 3d and here we have gl load identity and here we have gl flash okay that will be there at the last and in between there will be some differences like for example the fifth program what we are trying to display we are trying to display a um, tetrahedron right so there will be a tetra and we will be passing n here that will be in the fifth program here there will be gl color buffer bit and the gl load identity gl flash okay so the four functions are there one two three and four okay so in the same way we'll have the sixth one also <coughs> also here gl load identity is not there but here what will be there is gl um uh, color buffer bit and after that we have the gl begin what we are doing is line loop and we are passing four points here so it will create a line loop here and after that gl end and in the teapot what we have is uh, we have to create three walls here and four table legs one table top and one teapot so three wall function will write and one teapot one table top and four table x function will write then it will be in between the uh, gl color buffer bit and the gl flash okay and here we'll have the load identity as well because in five and seven there is load identity and in the eighth program what we need is we need to create one window like this and two lines for that uh, for window we will be uh, passing gl line loop so four lines will be passing i mean the four parameters gl uh, means x x min y min x min y max x uh, max y max x uh, min y max so four parameters we pass in the line loop it will create a window after that we need two lines for that we will pass to uh, the parameters of these two lines in the gl lines function so it will create two lines like this okay between the given points okay so that's what we are doing in the line uh, display function of the uh, coins of the land along with that we are passing at the up uh, color buffer bit and at the last gl flash okay and in ninth function we are just passing uh, gl clear color okay that's it in the display function just we are setting the background in the ninth color uh, in the ninth program because in draw and animate function we are mainly doing the things okay so let's uh, discuss what is there uh, after this one so uh, as of now we have done uh, discuss some common functions here which are the uh, main function init function or reshape function and uh, display function as well as the menu function so the functions totally are reduced right so let's consider each function one by one uh, each program one by one in the fifth program uh, initially we had how many six functions were there triangle diff tri uh, tetra display my reshape and main these three are discussed you know how to write each of these as we have discussed in the top so you can write these three only we are remaining with these three so i'll just give a brief overview of what we are doing in triangle we'll be passing three arguments and we are just making a polygon by uh, the three vertex values a b and c in diff try what we are doing is three for loops are there we are calculating a plus b by two then b plus c by two then a plus c by two and tetra what we are doing four diff try calls and to uh, do the side phases I mean this is the tetra drone right so how many phases are there this is one phase this is second phase this is third phase and the bottom one four phases okay so if you go through the uh, program and write two three times it will stay in your mind 
this is the fifth program uh, Sarpinski gasket and coming to the sixth program which is scanline fill algorithm here we had the seven functions edge detect draw pixel scan uh, fill display uh, display init and fill menu and main function so menu is done main is done init and display is done. you can easily write that we are just left with three functions which is edge detect and draw pixel and scanline fill let's start with the easiest one draw pixel draw pixel means will be passed with the x and y values you are just plotting those points by using gl points and the vertex values that's all what is in the draw pixel next uh, the easy one is the um, edge, det uh, edge detect in edge detect what we will do we will check if the slope is um, less than uh, means y2 is less than minus 1 uh, y2 is less than y1 we will swap it if it is 0 the slope will be taken as x2 minus x1 only or it will be taken as x2 minus x1 by y2 minus y1 okay and then we are uh, doing a for loop le and re uh, le of i and re of i left edge of i and uh, right edge of i is equal to x okay if you uh, see the code you will get to know what it is but that's what it's happening two swaps uh, one swap is happening if it's um, means to be performed and uh, the zero uh, slope is getting checked and a for loop is there okay two if and one for in the scan uh, field what we have three things we have for loop for le of ri uh, le of i uh, for all the values it's 500 it's initialized as that and re of i it is initially 0 then we have the edge detect uh, 4 functions for the 4 uh, edges after that for loop is there draw i y means after we have got the values we will be drawing the lines like this we will be filling the algorithm we will be filling color in it okay so that's what it is there in the 6th program let's move to the next one which is the 7th program teapot initially we had how many functions 8 functions right 8 functions so 8 functions are what teapot table top table leg wall light display in it and main these three are done we are just left with five in the five the first four are common so they all have this uh, same uh, line of code this is the values differ okay you can go through the values later but now what is the common in between them is gl push matrix and pop matrix you are pushing a matrix performing some operations then popping that matrix what is that operation translation scale and solid cube translation scale and solid cube these three are the operations which you are getting performed okay and light is uh, having four matrix functions and four matrix defined and the functions are defined for then two matrix are defined two functions are defined this for the material and this for the light okay that is what there in the seventh program which is teapot program then we have the coin with the algorithm five functions were there if you cut three we will just be remaining with two let's start from the easiest one which is the compute code there is two if else conditions one for the y and one for the x here we have top or bottom here we have left, right or left okay so it, based on that we will be returning the uh, computed code and we have coincidental and algorithm here we have the two things do while and accept okay two things are there in the do while there is if else if and else if is for rejecting if the line is outside the code else else if is for checking if the line is inside the um, plane and else is that condition where the line is uh, starting from outside passing through inside and going uh, to outside okay so that's what they're in the do while loop and the accept uh, what will happen is we'll be drawing this final thing we'll be defining how to draw this final thing and we'll be defining this vertices here and inside that port also we'll be defining so those things happen in the accept part so that's there in the eighth pro that's what they uh, it is there in the eighth program in the ninth program what we have is the bizarre curve it totally eight functions were there so if we cut like uh, how many we have discussed you can write the main function menu reshape and display you can easily write we are just remaining with uh, four functions these three are common so in that what we have is in bino we have a for uh, a for loop which is in, uh, having enough for loops which is uh, star and in, uh, divide if you uh, see the code you will get to know what it is and compute bizarre we have for x y z okay so three for loops you'll have for x for y and for z okay means in the for loop we'll be calculating x plus is equal to y plus is equal to z plus is equal to okay some code is there then we have the bizarre which is calling bino first and there will be some initialization things and in the for loop it is calling compute bizarre and lastly we have the draw and animate function in here we have the cp initializations we'll have some cp values cp1 uh, plus is equal to x minus equal to y like that we'll have three for loops are there for three colors so three for loops are defined uh, this for the saffron white and green and flagpole will be made at last like by using gl lines so if you point to uh, pass two points it will um, means make a pole okay so those were some of the common tips and tricks which you can use for the programs five to nine and i hope so you found it helpful and make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to my channel that's all for this video and thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one